Hey, yeah, right, you don't need to get pissy. No, please. I don't want to die. Don't even let that there. Let's go, Vito. Andiamo. What the fuck are you waiting for? Oh. Fuck. Ah. This whole fucking place is coming apart. Damn it, I know it. This is my 13th contract. It's a fucking jinx. What do you mean, you lucky bastard? Got hurt. Fire spray. <laughs> oh, damn smoke. <laughs> All right. If I don't make it... Hey, don't go saying that, pal. It's just a scratch. The doc will give you a few stitches, and then we'll all go out and celebrate. No, really. Shh. You shouldn't talk right now. It helps conserve your strength. I've seen that in a movie once. Yeah? And what happened to the guy in the movie? He died. Nah. Jesus, you drive like my fucking grandmother. Faster. I'm going as fast as I can, damn it. Well, it ain't fast enough. Just relax, would you? I got a hole in my leg the size of a fucking golf ball, and you're telling me to relax? Just get me to El Greco, damn it. So, fellas, who is this guy? What guy? This guy we're taking Henry to. El Greco? He's a doctor. From a couple of bucks, he patches you up. No questions asked. He's the guy you go see when you can't go to the hospital, genius. Why the hell wouldn't you be able to go to the hospital? Because you go to the hospital with a bullet in you, first thing they do is call the cops. Yeah. So El Greco deals with a lot of guys in our line of work. You shouldn't need to visit him, though, Vito. You've always been a quick healer. Must be your diet. Hey, Vito, step on it. Ah. Henry's sweating like a whore in church back here. You know what make me drive faster? You start as it. Hey, Henry, you awake? Stay with me now. Yeah. Just hang in there, pal. We'll be at El Greco's in a minute. I can smell the souvlaki from here. Vito there, that house, park right in front. You El Greco the doctor? No, I'm the fucking painter. A friend needs help, he's gonna bleed. Thanks, Doc. Good God, Henry. We owe you one. Get him inside. Hello, though. Wait, I got money for you. For the job. Take it. You know this could have waited. But well, thanks. And hey, thanks for everything. I hope you'll be okay. Yeah, me too. I'll stay here with him. 
Meet me at my place. <clears throat> All right. Oh, hey, how you doing? Shh, no, 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 no. I just wanted to give you the money to pay off Papa's debt. Oh, Vito, that's great. I was gonna try and see if we could pay it back in installments. I got a little money. He wouldn't have hurt us. Don't be so sure, but it doesn't matter now. Here, take Where'd it. you get all this money, Vito? You haven't done nothing you'll be sorry for, have hey, you? Don't worry. Everything's fine. Thank you, Vito. Thank no you. No problem. All right, look, I better be going. I, I don't want Ma to see me. She'll be asking where I got the money, too. Don't worry. I'll make something up. All right. Give her a big kiss for I me, will. okay? Take care of yourself, Vito. Oh! Hey! What's up, man?
Vito Scaletta? Yeah? What's it to you? You're under arrest for the illegal distribution of federal ration stamps. You're coming with us. One of the gas station attendants ratted me out. The guy fingered me and they strung our mama into telling him where I was staying. But they had no idea who I was working for and I wasn't about to tell them. Henry was able to get me a lawyer, courtesy of his boss, Clementi. I was up Shit's Creek, but at least I had a battle. Could have been a hell of a lot worse if the Feds knew about and any of my other crime activities. I find to be even more serious, considering the fact that you stole national resources at a time when our country needs them the most. An act the gravity of which you, Mr. Scaletta... The guy was good, but even he couldn't get me yourself. out of this one. Should it was a lost cause from day one. Three months later... They handed down the verdict. Vittorio Antonio Scaletta. For your crimes against the people of this city and of this great country, this court hereby sentences you to ten years in a federal penitentiary. Murderers, child molesters, they were all here. The worst of the worst. All right, get in line, gentlemen. Follow me, single file. And no monkey business, or else. Listen up, assholes! My name is Captain Terrence Stone, and this is my prison. You're here on the inside because you can't behave like normal human beings on the outside. Make no mistake. Your ass belongs to me now, and you'll do what I say, or you'll be sorry that you did it! Fuck with me, and I'll fuck with your sorry ass all day long! You were sent here to be rehabilitated, and rehabilitate you, we will. Okay, you assholes. We're gonna cut you loose just long enough to get you cleaned up. Now get in line and follow me. Welcome to the salon, ladies. You're gonna look just fucking beautiful. Hey, me too? I ain't got nothing on my head to cut. Shut your face, cue ball. Oh. 
Okay, let's go. Hey, shit for brains. Do what you're fucking told. This was gonna be my new home for the next ten years. Look like shit and smell like piss. I would have preferred dodging bullets in Europe to this. After three action-packed days of staring at the wall, I got a message from Joe to contact a guy named Leo Galante, who could supposedly help me out in here. This wasn't the kind of place where you could survive on your own. I'm looking for Leo Galante. Hey, buddy. Beat it. Uh, hey, uh, I'm looking for uh, Leo Galante. You know where I can find him? Leave me the fuck alone. I'm looking for Leo Galante. Eh, never heard of him. I'm looking for Leo Galante. Eh, never heard of him. Excuse me, you know where Leo Galante is? Get the fuck out my face, white bread. Excuse me, you know where Leo Galante is? I got your Leo Galante right here, bitch. Excuse me, you know where Leo Galante is? <laughs> Get out of here before you make me mad. Excuse me, you know where Leo Galante is? Get out of my face. Again? Yep. What do you do this time? The uh, usual. Hey, Told Stone to go and fuck himself, and then tried to fight the uh, guards. Hey, uh, the I'm guy's for, got uh, Leo balls, Galante, all right. Find him. And I a couple of sandwiches you short of a picnic, though. Hey, I need to talk to Leo Galante. Point him out, will you? You see the old man over there at the chess table? That's him. You seen Gabe lately? Uh-uh. He's in the hall. Again? Sorry. Ming cannot train soul, brother, in ways. I know you. You're that fucking guinea who was with Barbara in a jewelry store. I'm in this fucking hell hell because of you. You got locked up because you're a stupid, crazy fuck. <laughs> you know, fellas, my mom was right. There is a god! <laughs> and he sent you here, you guinea bastard. So that I could pay you back! This looks interesting. Wanna make a small bet? I'm gonna break you, Dago! Come on, you big room retard. Come on, Joe! Our boyfriend Bob and I are dead! My mother hits harder than me. This is gonna be easier than the time I shoved a potato up your mother's ass. Come on! You eat fights for breakfast? Come on, I'll give you one shot. Yeah, kick his fucking Dago ass! Over 
We're gonna give you a little time to think about what you've done. Close it up. So O'Neill almost took my head off, but I made a stand. And let me tell you something, when you're inside, it counts for a lot more than you might think. How long are you planning on keeping him in here? Long enough to learn his lesson. That's gonna have to change. He in any shape to fight. Should be. Boys didn't knock him around too bad after the brawl in the yard. All right, open it up. Rise and shine, Scaletta. You got yourself a visitor. My name is Leo Galante. I heard you wanted to speak to me. Yeah. Uh, one of Clemente's guys said I should contact you. Said maybe you could help me out. Oh, fuck Clemente. I don't provide protection for his guys in here. But I saw how you handled that mick who's after you, O'Neill. He could prove useful. Come with me, boy. <clears throat> now listen up, fellas. This is Vito. He's gonna be helping us out. Peppy here's got a big fight coming up. Against O'Neill. He needs a sparring partner. But from what I saw of you out there in the yard, you're just the man for the job. You're gonna help us out, kid. In return, you'll be under my protection. And who knows?